Take a story, any story, literally any story ever. What's it about? What's the one thing that all stories are about? People. But there are stories about aliens and talking cars and robots and all kinds of stuff. Yes, but these aliens and talking cars and robots are given human characteristics so that we understand and relate to them. Stories are about people, period. They are about our struggles, our triumphs, the parts of ourselves that we love, and the parts of ourselves that we want to keep hidden. So when movies begin to leave the realm of human, they lose their audience. One of the biggest examples of this problem is Superman's death in Batman v Superman. It's the predictable cherry on top of this movie. But Superman isn't dead, not fully. At the end we are teased that he is coming back, and we all know that he will because what's Justice League without Superman? But here's something that may come as a shock to some. In the real world, people die and they stay dead. This is very important because a lot of what we do is based on keeping ourselves and those we care about alive. People fear death like nothing else. As we watch characters face obstacles, one of the things that keeps us watching is the fear of their death. What happens next? Will this person die? And when you take that away, a story loses its power. Think about the Matrix movies. The first one was considered an amazing science fiction film studying one of the great what-ifs of philosophy. And at the end, Neo cheats death and gains the ability to control the Matrix. Now this doesn't ruin the story because this is the end. Resurrection can be at the end because that is one of the things that people strive for. To be immortal, to be powerful, to live forever, or to have a hero that does. We no longer care about what happens next because we have arrived. And that is proved by the next two Matrix movies. Neo is too powerful. He no longer struggles like a human because he achieved the ultimate goal. Upgrade. Neo did extraordinary things in the next two movies, but nobody cared. After a character cheats death, the audience ceases to fear what happens to them. That must be the end. If it's not, your story falls apart. Here's a little secret. People don't actually want to see super powerful beings succeed. They want to see people, real people, fight through situations that seem unbeatable. But not dying can also be a problem, and that is more noticeable in the Marvel movies. In these movies, they just won't kill anyone at all. Sure, they'll act like someone might die, but no one at all ends up dying, which is still a problem. I enjoyed Captain America Civil War a lot, but it's not without flaws. Out of all of the previous Marvel movies, this one pointed out a major issue with massive cinematic universes. And that issue is that we need these heroes for later movies, so we can't kill anyone. No one dies. Nobody important dies this entire movie. They even made this problem more noticeable with the fact that Rhodey survives his fall with only a fixable physical injury. What made this movie survive is that they put the focus more on the ideological battle rather than the life and death struggle. But if you look at the list of Phase 3 Marvel movies, I can almost guarantee that nobody that really matters will die in any of these films. The heroes will all survive so that they can fight Thanos in 2019, which is just as big of a problem as bringing characters back to life. Stories need plot, plot needs drama, drama needs tension. One of the best ways to get tension is to put your characters in a life and death situation. These life and death situations are crucial to Marvel and DC's movies but they are removing that tension by giving characters the ability to come back to life or simply not allowing any of their characters to die so that they can set up sequels. Both cinematic universes show significant problems with death and how to handle it, and I don't think this problem will go away. Even with great scripts, directors, and actors, predictability will be the plague of these films. Thanks for watching.